Hey guys, it's Oscar from Skinny Fat Transformation here and in today's video I'm going to talk about why do you want to transform your body. So one of the issues I see a lot online is that young guys, they get into training and they don't have a clearly defined goal. They don't really know what they want out of training and they just follow random programs without actually thinking about what they want to achieve. And it's very, very important that you, that you know what kind of physique you want to achieve because the program that you follow is going to help you achieve the physique you want if you follow the right program. So for example, when I started training in 2010, I started lifting heavy weights, like doing heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, and heavy bench presses. But I actually had another goal in mind. I wanted to achieve a more uh, like beach physique with uh, bigger arms and shoulders and uh, a big upper chest and, and wide lats. And the program I was doing was not supporting my goal at all. It was making me stronger, but it was not training the muscles I actually wanted to train. And I see this m mistake being made by a lot of guys today. They, they follow programs that are not aligned with their goals. So I made an email newsletter about four years ago called Why Do You Want to Transform Your Body? And I sent it out to thousands of people and I, I got a lot of responses, probably more than 1,000 responses already in the last four years. So, it's, so I've, I've been seeing why people want to transform their body and also what kind of physique they want to develop. And in the email I, I wrote to people, it's very important that you sit down and you write down exactly what you want to achieve and why you want it. And people send me very long emails uh, that basically share the whole life story and why they want to transform. The most common reasons are to get a girlfriend, uh, to get more respect from like male friends and in your job place, and to feel more confident in your own skin, and to look better, attract more people. And those are perfectly okay reasons. Those are also my own reasons. I just want to get a girlfriend when I start training. And the other thing is defining your ideal physique. My ideal physique was always like a V-taper upper body because it's the opposite of what I had when I started. I wanted to have that V-taper upper body because I never had it. I never tried to, to have you know, wide shoulders with, with a smaller waist. So that's what I was chasing. And when people sat down and defined what they wanted to achieve, they told me they felt very relieved. A lot of guys told me I actually never thought about this. I never thought about exactly what I want and why I want it. And when they wrote it out, they actually committed much more to their training and their nutrition. And they also chose their training and nutrition more carefully because they knew exactly what they wanted. So right now, I want you to, to think about these things. I want you to think about what physique do you want? Do you want big arms? Do you want to focus on your shoulders? Do you want wide lats? Maybe you don't like wide lats. Some of my clients, they tell me, I don't want to have wide lats like you. I don't want to look bulky or I don't want this and that. So I make programs that are designed to follow their goals because I'm not the one who should tell you what, what kind of physique you want. It's your life. So if you want to have big arms and, and not that wide shoulders because you, maybe you're already happy with your shoulders, then I'm not going to make a training program that focuses on bringing up your shoulders. So this is something you really have to think about. And the other benefit of doing this is commitment. Once you write out why you want to transform your body and what physique you want to have, you're going to commit more to your training. You can actually write it down today and then you can read this piece of paper every day when you wake up and when you go to bed. But by doing that, you're going to strongly commit to your training and diet and you're going to constantly re repeat it to yourself and you know, stick to your training and diet, which over the long term is going to give you more results. And another thing I, I see guys make is um, when they start training, they get really motivated, they get really pumped up. They follow a training program and diet plan for, let's say, six or seven weeks. And then after six or seven weeks, something comes up. They have a vacation. They have, a, I don't know, a trip. They have an exam. They have something that comes up in their life that basically interrupts the training and diet. And what happens in most cases is they completely ditch their training and diet. And then they lose their progress. And you know if you're skinny fat and you take time off training and nutrition, you're going to become skinny fat very, very fast. So if, if you lost the skinny fat look and you take time off training and, and nutrition, you're going to become skinny fat very fast. And that's because when you're skinny fat, your body is naturally um, not muscled and is naturally fat. So as soon as you stop signaling to your body that it has to keep that muscle and stay lean, it starts packing on fat and, and losing the muscle mass you have. So you need to stay consistent with your training and nutrition at all times. And this is again where writing down your goal and why you want to transform is very helpful. If you keep reviewing your paper every day, even when on vacation or when you have exams, you're going to be more likely to stick to your training and nutrition and keep those results you work so hard for. 
So instead of wasting two or three times, not two or three weeks, getting b back into your training and diet when you lose your progress, you're just gonna keep progressing a, a little bit every month. So over the next five or six years, you're gonna look much better instead of being stuck in the same place. Because when I look at a lot of guys who have failed in their body transformation, it's, be it's not because they had the wrong training or diet, it's because they progressed for let's say six or seven weeks, then they lost all their progress by going off the training and nutrition, and then they regained it, and then something else came up and they lost it. And that's why it's so, so important that you commit to your training and nutrition. And the most helpful way to do that is by writing down what you want and why you want it, and then reviewing it every single day. I hope this was helpful for you. If you liked the video, please share it with a friend, and uh, I'll be back soon.